Hi, my name is Ted with Legacy Brand Leather. I was gonna do a different project this week, but when the time came to it, I realized I was out of some hardware. So that's a lesson to you that you should make sure that you have all the supplies necessary before you start on something if you have some sort of deadline. Anyways, I'm sure a lot of you are cooking a lot more now than you were before. I know I am. So I decided to whip up a quick skillet holder for my cast iron skillet. Let's get to it. First, you're gonna cut out your leather. Here I'm using a Wicket & Craig russet skirting leather that's eight to 10 ounces thick. And then I'm just tracing out my template. I quickly did that in Illustrator. And then use a rotary knife or a Japanese skiving knife, cutting knife to cut out your leather. This is a bit thicker, so I switched from the rotary knife to the Japanese uh, skiving knife. Much sharper and I get a better, cleaner cut when I'm doing this, then I feel a lot safer instead of using the rotary knife. Here I'm cutting the round on that piece. My hand is in the way so you can't quite see it, but you do small radial cuts to get the nice round on there. And then we're going to bevel the top and bottom before we're gonna burnish. I'm just using some tokenol and then a coca bolo wood burnisher. Then I'm gonna use some more tokenol and a piece of canvas to get a nice shine to that piece. Here I'm marking out the stitch line with a wing divider. Then it's just a matter of putting your stitching holes in. For the stitching holes that are going around the piece, I'm using a two-prong chisel and actually hammering it with a single chisel so that the stitching holes are going to be facing the right direction by the time it gets around the entire project. Since this leather is rather thick, I'm just hammering the chisels through the bottom piece to make sure that we get a clear, clean hole on the other side of the leather. Next up, I'm just putting my logo on this piece uh, not necessary, but I feel like it's kind of nice for a little bit of texture so that you have something to grip onto as you're holding the handle. Next, I'm just stitching it up. This is some Main Thread Company Ecru colored thread. And there I am just burning off the thread. Then it's just a matter of sanding the edges flush. I ended up putting my sandpaper around a wood block to help give me some stability as I'm sanding this thing. Partway through the sanding process, I decided to bevel it so that I can continue sanding for a finer grit after that. Once I was pleased with the sanding, I'm just adding some tokenol and burnishing with the Coco Bolo wood burnisher. Once the burnishing is done, I'm using a canvas cloth to just give it a nice little shine, a little polish to it. Now I'm just adding a little bit of Smith's Leather Balm just to soften up a bit, give it a little bit of hydration and let that sit for a bit to soak in. And there it is. Now it's just a matter of putting it on. But first, I'm making breakfast.
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing. That shows me that you want to see more videos and more content like this. I am on Instagram at Legacy Brand Leather. Please go there and give me a follow. Other than that, I'll see you next week with a new video. Stay safe out there.